They are mostly wild, but they quickly adapt to life in human homes. They have the most valuable fur out of all the fur-bearing animals and are distinguished by a cunning and playful disposition. Welcome to our channel, everyone. Today we'll be talking about the mink, an animal of the weasel family. We'll also get to see this predator in action. The mink is a small predator from the order of mammals characterized by an elongated, roll-shaped body. It has a narrow muzzle with small but wide ears, almost invisible in its thick fur. Its impressive black eyes look like beads. Thanks to its beautiful and valuable fur, the mink is known all over the world and is considered one of the best fur-bearing animals. This animal has very sharp teeth. The mink has a well-developed sense of smell and touch, but its short legs don't allow it to move quickly on land. The animal's partially webbed feet are covered with fur. The webbings are more extensive on the hind legs. This allows the mink to masterfully stay afloat and quickly dive underwater. It also gives the animal a bouncy gait on land. The mink's eyesight is very poor, therefore, during the hunt, the animal relies solely on its well-developed sense of smell. This gives the mink a huge advantage over other predators because it can go hunting even late at night. The mink has a lightning-fast reaction to moving objects, but if the prey takes a stationary position, it can go unnoticed by the predator. Males and females differ in size. Males can reach about 4 kilograms in weight, while females don't weigh over 2 kilograms. Males grow up to 55 centimeters in length, and females don't grow over 45 centimeters. The animal's fur consists of short and smooth hairs. It is perfect and shiny and doesn't have any bald spots. Four main species are distinguished among approximately 50 million minks living in various territories. They are European, American, Russian, and Scandinavian minks. The European mink is native to Eurasia, while the American minks were brought to the continent much later for the purpose of breeding in nature reserves. Then, these animals were set free with the aim of getting them adapted to the wild animal world. But this plan had a negative effect on the European mink. The total number of individuals of this species began to decline because the predator of the American species was infringing on the European kind. It should be noted that despite their similar appearance, the American and European mink have different ancestors. The same living conditions help the animals acquire a significant similarity, but due to their rivalry, the European mink has been on the red list since 1996. The mink moves around a lot. It is very active, especially in water. It's a great swimmer thanks to its streamlined body shape and the way it uses its front and hind legs to swim in forward jerks, dive, and move along the bottom. Minks settle either on protruding hills surrounded by water or in burrows with access to water. They can use burrows made by other animals or natural crevices where they build their nests with grass or feathers. This small predator can spend up to two minutes underwater, after which it emerges, takes a breath, and repeats the cycle. If danger is approaching it on land, the animal can climb onto a tree or a brush branch, despite the fact that it isn't a good climber. The mink is a predator that has a strong body and a high degree of mobility, which makes them a great hunter. It can catch and eat any animal that is smaller and sometimes larger than itself in size, both in the aquatic environment and on land. This forest creature can hunt day and night, Perhaps that's because it prefers fresh prey. It only eats rotten meat in extreme cases. It's willing to go hungry for three to four days before going to this option. All kinds of rats and mice are easy prey for the mink and make up for the basis of its diet. The mink catches up with the rodent and grabs it by the neck with its sharp teeth. Squirrels can also be of interest to the predator. This squirrel isn't ready to give up. 
it is desperately fighting for its life, and it does manage to throw off the predator and run away in the end. Unfortunately, the video ends there, so we won't know how this story ended. A rabbit, which is much larger and heavier than the predator, can also become the victim of this voracious animal. Despite its modest size, it does an excellent job of dragging such weighty prey. When in water, the mink never misses the opportunity to hunt the muskrat, which is larger in size and a much better swimmer. The mink tries to drive the muskrat out on land, as it is almost impossible to catch it underwater. The muskrat resists and is even the first one to launch into an attack. A spectacular fight. And what about a duck? It would seem that the hunt was successful, but the predator loosens its grip near the shore and the bird took advantage of it and escaped, swimming away swiftly. This duck is very, very lucky. Was the mink really going to eat the whole swan? Or was it just an exercise to improve its hunting skills? The animal grabbed the bird's neck with its sharp teeth, but thanks to its powerful wings, the swan managed to fight off the attack, although it did get injured. This predator is very insidious. Just take a look at this. It rushed at the swan at the moment when the bird plunged its head under the water. The mink is also rather successful at fishing. Sometimes it can even catch fish as large as salmon. We see that the predator ran out of air, so it surfaced, took a breath, and immediately went back underwater to continue hunting. The mink can easily go to human settlements in search of food. Having climbed into the kitchen coop, it will easily destroy all of the inhabitants, even though it only needs 200 grams of food per day. These shots show the mink quietly swimming up to the geese and attacking one of them. It seems to be guided by some other instincts, and not just hunger. The mink isn't only bold in its attacks, but also during self-defense. This footage shows the predator attacking the coyote, who probably wanted to feed on it. And it worked. The coyote decided to run away from the mink. A similar situation happened with the Canadian lynx. The mink bit the lynx right on the nose. Now, the lynx is trying to get rid of the small predator. Having freed itself, the lynx clearly decided to find another prey. Sometimes, it chooses to steal its prey instead of hunting for it. For example, it can steal the catch of a fisherman. At first, the mink can pretend that it's just a curious observer. And then, when the prey's owner turns away or gets distracted, the predator goes for the fish. The mink helps people fight off all kinds of rodents, so it is often used specifically for this purpose. Due to its size, it can easily get into the smallest and narrow passages, cleaning it from unwanted pests. People have been mistreating these animals for centuries, exterminating them because of their warm, beautiful fur. Therefore, the European mink is currently on the red list as on the verge of extinction. The latest trend is to domesticate these cute little predators who aren't just naturally charming, but are also smart and playful. That's all for today. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.